Hey friends, it's Bridget with Sleepopolis, and today I'm here to compare two very popular online mattresses, the Nectar and the Dream Cloud. I'm going to look at how they differ in firmness, construction, laying on them, and more, all to see which mattress is the winner for you. But before we get started, be sure to check out sleepopolis.com for more mattress and sleep product reviews, along with some exclusive coupons. All right, let's get started. So let's first talk about what these two beds have in common. Well, they both ship for free compressed in a box, they come with a 365 night trial, and they both have impressive lifetime warranties. They're both their brand's flagship beds and popular options. Back sleepers and a lot of side sleepers should be happy on both of them as they'll get the sinkage and support they need from the foam layers that both mattresses offer. And both beds are similarly priced. Right now, you can get both of them in a queen size for less than $1,200 at full retail. But keep in mind, we also always have those coupons to help you out. Just click the link in the description below. Now to the differences. Well, first, they have a totally different feel and are built very differently. The All Foam Nectar has a doughy, slower moving foam feel. You're gonna feel it form around you like a nice little hug while the Dream Cloud has more of a cushiony on top of the bed feeling. It's a luxury hybrid, so it's a combination of foams on top and coils on bottom, making it more responsive than the Nectar. The Nectar also has a softer feel than the Dream Cloud, but we'll cover that more later. And although they both do have cooling components inside, I think the Dream Cloud is going to sleep cooler thanks to its hybrid construction. And I mentioned they're both under $1,200 in a queen size, but the Nectar is a bit less expensive. Now let's dig into their construction. I wanna go over them layer by layer. Starting with the covers of these beds, the Nectar has a quilted breathable cover, which is cool to the touch and feels kind of silky. The Dream Cloud has a luxurious quilted cover that's blended with cashmere and has memory foam inside it. Then the Nectar has gel memory foam, which is slower moving and pressure relieving. The Dream Cloud also has gel memory foam that's high density and allows for nice sinkage. Then the Nectar has a dynamic adjusting foam layer to help promote contouring. The Dream Cloud has a layer of polyfoam that helps you ease into the next layer of a pocketed coil system. This layer gives support and offers airflow. The Nectar then has its final layer of foam that stabilizes the bed and keeps sleepers supported. And the Dream Cloud's final layer is polyfoam to provide a foundation for the mattress. Here at Sleepopolis, we like to rate firmness on a scale from one to 10. So one is super, super soft, like a fluffy cotton ball. 10 is really hard, like concrete. And we like to use six and a half as the standard for medium firm. And looking at both of these beds, I put the Nectar at about a six out of 10 on the firmness scale and the Dream Cloud at a seven out of 10. So the Nectar is a little softer. Your sleeping position is also super important when looking for a new mattress. So back sleepers typically want something that's comfortable and supportive to help keep their spine in alignment. Side sleepers tend to want a softer mattress so they can get contouring around their shoulder and hip. And stomach sleepers typically want a firmer mattress. That way their hips can be propped up and elevated to be in alignment with their spine. And if someone is lighter in weight, a bed will typically feel firmer to them than someone who's heavier. For the Nectar, I think back sleepers will enjoy the contouring and pressure relief they get on this mattress. And a lot of side sleepers should also be comfortable sinking into its foam layers and get needed sinkage around the shoulder and hip. I think some lightweight stomach sleepers under 130 pounds would like this bed, but I think most strict stomach sleepers will want something firmer for better sleep posture. I don't think this will be the best fit for heavier sleepers weighing over 250 pounds either and would suggest looking for a more supportive option. The Dream Cloud is also a nice option for back sleepers and should bring them pressure relief and support. I think combination sleepers will really like this bed since it's easy to move around on as well. Strict side sleepers may want to find a softer option, but I did feel pretty comfortable on my side and think it could work for a lot of side sleepers. 
Aside from lightweight stomach sleepers, strict stomach sleepers will likely want a firmer bed, and I think heavier sleepers weighing over 250 pounds will find the Dream Cloud supportive and comfortable enough for them, but heavier side sleepers may sink through the top layers too much and not experience their full benefits. Now to one of our favorite tests, the pressure map test. The pressure map uses heat mapping technology to show where pressure is building across your body when you're laying on a mattress. So here's what you need to keep in mind when you're looking at these results. Blues and greens are good and are showing low pressure. Oranges and reds are bad and are showing high pressure. And looking at the nectar for pressure relief, these are great back sleeping results with it showing all blues and greens. And for side sleeping, there's some yellow around my shoulder and hip, but I still think this would be a nice option for a lot of side sleepers. And looking at the dream cloud for pressure relief, results are all blue and green when on my back. And when I lay on my side, there's a little bit of yellow on my hip, which isn't a big concern. Motion isolation and edge support are important factors of a mattress, especially for couples. So motion isolation is how a bed keeps movement from carrying from one side to the other. So if your partner's tossing and turning, you don't wanna be awakened by their movements. And edge support is how well the perimeter of a mattress supports weight. So this allows you to sleep near the edge and use the full surface area of the bed. For motion isolation, they both do pretty good, but I'd say the All Foam Nectar does a little bit better of a job. And when it comes to edge support, they're also both pretty good, but I'd say the Dream Cloud has a little bit stronger edge support. So who should get the Nectar? First, memory foam lovers, I think will really like this bed and the soft, doughy foam that it has to offer. Second, any sleepers who suffer from shoulder pain could get some really nice relief from this bed. And lastly, back sleepers and side sleepers I think will really enjoy the contouring and sinkage that the Nectar offers. And who should get the Dream Cloud? Well, if you like a luxury option, this is definitely that, but at an affordable price. Second, if you're a combination sleeper, I think you're really going to like how easy it is to move around on this bed. And lastly, back sleepers and a lot of side sleepers I think will also enjoy this bed and the cushiony support it has to offer. Okay, that is a wrap on this mattress battle. And here's the thing, I can't really tell you which bed is the winner for you because it really comes down to your personal preference and style. But hopefully this was helpful. If you wanna learn more about either of these mattresses or others, just head over to sleepopolis.com. We also have sleep product reviews there too, along with those exclusive coupons. Don't forget to hit subscribe on your way out and I will see you next time.